Welcome back, everyone. This is Politics Tonight. Thank you so much for staying with us. I've been speaking with Honorable Solomon Bob, a member of the House of Representatives representing Abwa Odwal Ahuado East uh, Constituency. And tonight we're discussing Rivers' political crisis. Honorable, thank you so much for staying with us on the program. Now, the governor has also said he thank would you. probe the administration of former governor Yesom Wike. But if he decides to do that, isn't that being a judge in your own case? After all, he was the accounting general of the state during that administration. And do you agree that, I mean, to a large extent, this will further heighten the already tensed political situation in the state? Well, yeah, it might be so, but uh, I'm not even willing to indulge in examining that because uh, as far as I'm concerned, I think the legal instruments to back up that kind of um, you know, position is at best tenuous. I don't think he understands you know, quite well um, how that works. You know, I understand the, a few days ago he um, um, empaneled three persons before whom he nominated someone to become an attorney general. That, that one is uh, absolutely um, unlawful. It's unlawful, and any products of that cannot stand. The least challenge in the court be thrown away. And uh, it's just a little more about that. You know, um, it, it just so the strain of absurdity continues almost, almost uh, unending. Um, um, I've, I've, uh, I've been privileged a few days ago to listen to some comments by some lawyers. You know, maybe they were acting on his prompting because I'm aware that he's sensible everywhere. You know, expense stupendous reverse resources, promoting uh, you know vile uh, uh, propaganda and disinformation everywhere. Um, someone was arguing at that time that, um, or he himself has even said it, which is the funniest thing I ever heard, that uh, the University of Assembly does not exist, or that they exist at its whim. That is terrible. That is terrible. You know, he doesn't have any such powers. And as I speak to you, Nigerians ought to know that there is a valid, a subsisting court judgment, not an order, a judgment of a court, federal high court, the only court by the constitution with powers, with jurisdiction to listen to um, claims or otherwise, or vacancy or otherwise in the House of Assembly or with respect to the office of the governor, deputy governor, the federal high court by section 2723 of the constitution. No other court has that power. That's a subsisting judgment, a final judgment, a final judgment by federal high court. Keep, uh, keep, in, keep, my, keep, my, sorry, uh, keep in mind, I didn't say uh, final high court. I said a final judgment by a federal high court. Up to now, unchallenged, up to now, subsisting, that has said that the 27 members are lawful in office, lawful in office. So when I hear lawyers go to studio to make claims that are so absurd, so funny, and so prejudicial to the outcome of processes in courts, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's unbelievable. There is nothing, nothing in our laws today, as we, as we, as we um, uh, see it, that says that those members are no longer members of the House of Assembly. They are valid in office. They are lawful in office. By reason of um, that judgment I just mentioned to you now, I think it was by Justice uh, Joseph uh, Mottoshaw of uh, the Federal High Court. That is the only judgment of the matter today. And the, you know, the law is what the court says. Not what, not a lawyer's opinion. No matter, it doesn't matter your rank. It doesn't matter your rank or status. A lawyer's opinion is it's just an opinion. We may have to wait for the court to determine that, uh, that case. But, I mean, Absolutely. I'm just trying to put it. Listen, listen to me. Listen, listen to me, listen to me. I want to put it out there that the slew of disinformation and uh, you know, um, opinion handed down as uh, um, received judgment or uh, the law, received law, is false. Nothing like that. Someone said, I think it was Justice um, uh, Oliver Wendell Holmes, okay, that the prophecies of what the courts will do, in fact, okay, and nothing more pretentious. That's the law. That's what the courts will do is the law. Not what, not a last opinion. And the court has said that those lawmakers are lawful in office. I get that, Honorable. But in your yeah, earlier statement, ahead. Okay. Uh, try to say that uh, Governor Fubara does not have the power to kill uh, because there are some people out there who have said this will further enhance or promote transparency and accountability.
question. I know. Please help me repeat that question. Uh, help me repeat that. I wanted, I wanted us to be clear. Did you try to say that uh, Governor Fubara does not have the right of the, or the power to probe uh, Yesam Wike? Because um, some persons out there, some stakeholders have said, if this happens, this will only enhance and promote transparency and accountability. No, I have no, I have no quarrel with anybody seeking to probe anybody. My point is that the legal instrument for that to happen is tenuous, as I said. It doesn't almost exist um, through what he's just done last week. I think he needs to um, um, go and, um, you know, people need to let him know how it's done. And um, the process has started now, cannot bet what he's seeking to do. Yeah. Right. And I'm seeing that in reference to, uh, with, um, I'm referring to um, the um, person who, who he uh, claims is Attorney General through a three man uh, panel. So that's what I'm saying. Because another angle out there is that, I mean, if indeed the uh, former governor we can serve the people of Rivers well, he should not be scared of being uh, probed. Uh, I mean, there should be no reason for fear of being embarrassed. But uh, uh, what's the implication of this on uh, governance in River State? Okay, I will, try, I will attempt to answer, um, presuming that what I heard is what you said. Um, well, governance at the moment seems to be in abeyance. Um, it's one year now, one year down the line. Um, all, we, all we have uh, to show for it, or what Fubara has to show for it, um, 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 is um, a government that specialized in um, disinformation, in destruction, in um, demolition, um, the, you know, um, infrastructure built at enormous cost to the state, okay, and seeking to do more in um, showing that he has no regard absolutely for the principles of rule of law, okay, by uh, running, attempting to run a state illegally, unlawfully as it, as it is, uh, with no budget, spending money with no budget. My, my problem with, in all of this is um, as much as um, President Tinubu has shown a level of understanding and tolerance. It seems that this continuing condonation is not in, in even in his own interest, uh, interest of the country. What example is showing? What example is showing? You give a man an uh, uh, unfettered latitude to, um, to engage in mindless uh, irresponsibility and disobedience of the law. You present the budget before three persons, four persons. You attempt to sideline, of course, that would not, that would not stand, as line between seven lawmakers and claim you, you have three, one of, one of whom you are proclaiming the speaker. What does that happen? That's ridiculous. That is just absurd in the extreme. I haven't seen anything this bad anywhere in my life. I haven't. And it, it will be remiss on my part to watch these things and not speak, to watch this, this thing and not say anything. Because history will come. Okay, when this was happening, what did you say? What did you do? Okay, moments, months ago when this thing happened, I, I, um, I gave an interview where I basically uh, um, uh, condemned these actions. It, it seems that because of the, what has appears, what appears now to be, uh, you know, the long time of the um, president to call him to order, he's uh, doubling down on acts of lawlessness, you know, acts of, uh, you know, basically brigandage, executive brigandage. You, you can't, you can't, I can't, no one can condemn this highly enough. No one can. You know, you can't speak badly enough about this situation we have in River State, you know, uh, created by uh, Governor Fubara. We had the best of intentions for him, and we all thought he meant well. He got into office and then turned a different um, individual altogether, you know. All right, so, as but a it's one... so, um, All right, General, as we wrap up tonight, I mean, uh, Obviously, because this is becoming intractable, and it's a fact that politicians will come and go, but Rivers people will remain. What must happen for us to see an end to this crisis? Well, I said, uh, I said it would be remiss on my part not to speak out if I if I saw you know things going wrong. That's why I'm speaking out. Uh, what what we need to happen? There's only one way it can happen. It, it has to pull back. 
See, um, all the things he's accused uh, Wiki of doing, either by himself or through his proxies, you know, uh, pale into you know, uh, actual insignificance when I know what happens elsewhere. Wiki did not do any of those things he accused him of doing. You know, some of which you, you, know, you know already, they are, they are out there. They are, they are funny. They are funny. It was an attempt to um, you know, uh, 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 demonize him. And then, of course, the Nigerian public sometimes shows uh, um, a lack of depth in analysis. A lot of them are latched onto it. I know many persons who have commented on it. Some of them are, you know, um, harbor their own grievances um, against Mike for their losses in the last election. I know many persons from many parts of the political divide who think Mike uh, was responsible for their failure. So they, um, they, uh, they are seeking their pound of flesh, you know, and then uh, latching onto river state issues as a reason to um, exert a pound of flesh. Every time they comment, you just know where they're coming from. You know, so the, basically the government has to pull back. He has to, he has to pull back. And I can mention, I can mention this, but I can mention states here if I, if I was pushed, you know, where um, predecessors are enjoying a harmonious relationship with, you know, um, uh, with their successor. Okay? And the demands in made of your successors, if I, if I were to tell you, uh, maybe your ears will tingle. So, but not much happened in River State. It's just drama of the absurd by a governor who, who obviously um, uh, uh, felt that he had to destroy his predecessor in order to create um, a fire done for himself. But uh, I don't know. Thank you. Mm. Right. I mean, honorable, you would agree with me that uh, this is not the first time Rivers will have a successor, predecessor political squabble. Uh, I mean, many Nigerians would like to know, why is this so? And for broader perspective, how can this crisis between governors and their successors be checked? Well, um, yeah, it's true. Um, at the push now, I really can't put my finger on who has had a success um, transition reverse here, apart from Wiki. Um, but that is not the issue I want to discuss now. What we can, what can do, what can, what can be of more importance is to, um, is to essentially repeat my appeal to the government to pull back. That is the only way you can have peace in reverse here. Pull back and understand that um, you have a limited time. You know, uh, everybody in public office has limited time to show what they can do, okay? And how do you want to remember that? As someone who came, who came and then caused a lot, caused catastrophe, caused uh, uh, problems, you know, uh, created um, animosity between everybody in the states, uh, created divides where once there were, there were bridges, or you want to remember somebody who came and, uh, you know, uh, did his best, did a good job, and then uh, left the scene, okay? So, um, it's hard for me to say or uh, uh, hypothesize about what can, what can lead to um, better relationships uh, between uh, the, uh, governors and their predecessors. You know, and I think that it all depends on, we all bring to the table of politics who we are, essentially. It, you, know, um, you really can't say um, about what people are until they show, um, they show their true uh, nature to you. All right. um, at any point, it's like a shot in the dark. So you have to, you only wait until it comes out and see what happens. All right. I mean, from my end, uh, we hope uh, this crisis is resolved soon and the people of River State truly enjoy the dividends of democracy. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. I've been speaking with Honorable Solomon Bob, a member of the House of Representatives. Thank you so much for your perspective tonight. Thank you, Jim okay. And thank you very much for watching. That marks the end of today's episode of Politics Tonight. But you can watch the repeat broadcast of this episode at midnight. Get in touch with us on our social media handles, Facebook, Instagram and X at TVC News NG. Using the hashtag Politics Tonight. We're also on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash TVC News Nigeria. I am on Lanjubukyo on Latinji. Good night, everyone.